Alright, so do people usually do post commentaries of Smash? Because if they don't, I'm doing it right now. Anyways, <laughs> so, um, I don't know why I'm commentating this. I guess most of it's probably just because this was accidentally recorded when I meant to record. Or, okay, so what happened here is I was playing against a friend who just recently got his Wii U and Smash and we're finally able to play because I can't connect to online Smash on my 3DS for some reason. But uh, we were playing, finally got to play him and after this game was done I meant to hit the save replay button but I forgot and then I realized that my recorder was actually, or my recording software was actually accidentally going so we recorded that whole game live which I was like, yeah! <laughs> so um, I managed to actually save the game inadvertently. So, um, yeah, this game, uh, this friend, he's actually pretty well versed in quite a few characters in this game. Uh, this game, he happened to go Link, which is a character that I absolutely despise facing in Smash just because he's, ugh, I hate facing Links. So, um, but the thing with his Link is that he plays it a lot differently compared to most of the links you'll face on For Glory because all the time on For Glory they're spammy, 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 the hell shit spammy. But uh, his link was a very aggressive, more so more aggressive than most For Glory. Although, also by the way, this little bit right here is gonna be a bit laggy just because of the lag in the game. So, uh, but this is pretty much the only lag I remember from the entire game. So, uh, yeah, uh, for the first few bits of this game, I was treating him like a more for glory spammy type link, which, uh, with Pac-Man, my best way of handling the super spammy links is just lay down a hydrant to absorb a good chunk of the projectiles, try to fire it back at him. Just because the hydrant will plow through a good chunk of the projectiles, if not shield me from it, which is what I really need to do. So, um, but that was kind of a bad idea with here, just because since he's more aggressive, he's more prone for like dash attacks, and Link's dash attack will automatically break the hydrant. So, um, yeah, and then a little bit ago, uh, I kind of goofed up on recovering because I had the trampoline accidentally went off to the side and hit me, I probably mo most likely could have just come recovered back from it, but I didn't because I was stupid. But uh, this made f up for here because uh, I accidentally saved him, and then I accidentally almost saved him again with the bell, because if the bell would have hit, he would have been stunned, knocked upwards, and then come back. But fortunately, the bell didn't hit there. So, um, yeah, for this game, with a more aggressive Link, I just was treating him like any regular character uh i think later on i sort of slowed down with the hydrants because i'm realizing that he could break the hydrants a lot easier than uh or with one move as opposed to with pac-man which is typically with two moves unless you go for like a smash attack or uh the key but uh the key takes a while to charge up and i don't know anyways yeah so uh i don't know what's the what i'm getting at here but uh the new patch comes out tomorrow, or maybe today, depending on when you're watching this. But uh, yeah, plus that's also when the Mewtwo comes out. I, I don't I really don't know what to talk about. It's been a long time since I've done like a commentary like this, like post commentary. So I really don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, right here I had I managed to uh, be able to pick up the apple and start Z dropping it, which is really nice, just because whenever I get a chance to be able to Z drop one of my fruit that can kill like the like the apple or the key then it's I really want to hold on to that as much as I can be right there with the bell I was really hoping that that uh, stun and neutral there would have killed but it didn't and I was kind of upset that uh I missed that uh that up or that throwing the bell up and missed the stun because that definitely would have killed but uh yeah, right here, um, I'm actually kind of surprised myself that I managed to keep up with uh, him being at the advantage. Because I think when I got into my second, or when we were both got to our second stocks, uh, he was at like 0%. I was like 70 something. But, anyways, uh, the final stock is actually where it gets pretty tense. Uh, and this is kind of where 
more mistakes sort of happened as on my part anyways so uh yeah pac-man's down smash is not something i really want to go for hopefully they kind of put that back to the way it was where uh pac-man's just his down smash it has so much startup lag it's i don't like it i always inadvertently go for the down smash which i probably shouldn't be doing but uh yeah so um i really don't know what much to talk about here uh his link uh like i said i'm just more or less treating him like a regular character as opposed to trying to wall off spammy characters which is something that pac-man really has troubles with like a uh, facing olimar and duck hunt uh the right there is one of the mistakes i made right there i meant to uh like make a u-turn with the pellis but i accidentally went all the way to the left with them or no like you saw it went down but i meant to like curve it back to the hydrant and uh, since the power pellets, the way it worked, that was another mistake I made. I threw the melon instead of the apple, which the apple would have definitely either hit him, hit him up, and then I probably could have neutral aired him or up aired, depending on how much he was knocked back. Uh, and then he, I probably maybe could have won that. I don't know. But anyways, uh, what I was talking getting out with the hydrant, I the way the side view mechanics work is it has two hitboxes it has the one when he's going towards the right on the regular pellets and then once he eats the big pellet at the end he gets super armor and the hit his the hitbox is bigger and it deals more damage and both of those hitboxes last through uh or they'll both of those hitboxes will hit the hydrant and that like breaks the hydrant knocks it up and then hits him and then I probably could have gotten him enough damage there and then kill him off with an apple or something but anyways yeah only managed to get one game with him just because he had work in the morning and only had time for one game so that kind of sucks anyways um I guess that's that so hope you guys did enjoy this I might do some more post commentaries on my replays if people like this sort of thing I'll definitely get better with post commentating smash replays because it's a lot different than post commentating pokemon battles but uh yeah that's about that so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did for free leave comments down below likes you know you know the whole routine so uh yeah see ya